Hello everyone, welcome back to Tech Genie. In this video, I will be explaining how to speed up your Windows 10 and fix all kind of lagging and slow issues. I will be sharing only 5 settings that you need to apply and this will make a huge difference and the next time when you will start using the computer, you will find that it's running much smoother without any kind of lagging. So without any delay, let's quickly get started. The first thing that you have to do, you need to disable the startup application. So right click on the Windows icon. From the suggestion, click on Task Manager. Click on More Details. Here from the top menu option, you have to click on Startup. And now it will display all kind of application listed here. Now what exactly it does, whichever application has been enabled here, that will come up along with the computer. So that will basically slow down the loading speed of the computer. And even it will run in the background and cause the slow problem issues on your Windows 10. Okay, so look for the application like OneDrive, Cortana, Steam, Discord, Skype that you can manually open up. You have to make sure that the status has been disabled. So right click on it and choose disable. Now you only don't have to disable any kind of file, any kind of application related to Wi-Fi, antivirus and the audio file because that need to be started along with the computer. Okay, so once you are done, you can close it. Next, right click on the Windows icon. From the suggestion, click on settings. Here in the setting, you have to look for the privacy, click on it. And now here in the privacy, from the left hand menu option, you have to scroll down to the very bottom. and You will find the background app option. Click on it. And disable this option that says let app run in the background. Simply toggle it off. And then here in the privacy only, in the Windows permission, you have to disable all these Windows permission. So click on general, disable them, speech, disable it, inking and typing personalization, disable it, diagnostic feedback, activity history. You basically don't need all these things, so you will have to disable it. Then in the app permission, you have to look for the application here, whichever you are not using. Let's say if you don't need the location option, then disable it. Microphone, camera, if you don't use, then you can disable it. Then you have to scroll down and disable like calendar phone call because majority of the people they do not use it email disable it task disable it radios you can disable it other devices communicate with unpaired devices disable it okay so these are the important part because none of the people use it they run in the background and occupy a lot of resources once you are done you have to click on home from the left and top and then here you have to click on system. Then from the left hand side, you have to click on storage. And here you have to make sure that you don't have too much of temporary file and junk. So keep in mind that if you have the low disk space, then that can also cause the lagging issues on your computer. Okay, so what you can do, you can click on temporary file. It's a virtual machine, so I don't have too much of data. But on your end, you will find a huge data over here. And this will list you the categories that what kind of temporary file are occupying the space. So it can list you the recycle bin, uh, probably the download option. So if you don't need the recycle bin item, the download item, you can check it. The rest, check everything listed over here. And then you have to click on remove file. So this will even create a lot of storage on your computer and even it will help you to improve the performance. Now once you have cleared the temporary file from here, you have to make a right click on the windows icon, click on run, type temp, hit the enter key, click continue, delete all the items from here. So press ctrl A to select all, then right click and choose delete. Once you are done, again right click on the windows icon, click on run, this time type percent, temp, percent, then click on ok. Again, press Ctrl A to select all, then shift delete or right click and delete it. Check the box, click on continue, check the box and then click on escape. And now next you have to disable the unwanted animation from the computer. So click on your Windows search, type sys dm.cpl. Hit the enter key. The system properties will be up. Here from the top menu option, click on advanced. Then in the performance, click on settings. Now here it should be selected to let Windows choose what best for my computer. You need to choose the third option that says that just for best performance. Select it. 
then you have to enable few of them like show thumbnail instead of icons and smooth edges of a screen font check these two options then click on apply then from the top menu option only click on advanced and here you will find the virtual memory option so we will also increase the virtual memory so that your computer can load more application to run smoothly so once you come to the virtual memory click on change and it should be set to automatically manage paging file uncheck it then select the custom size and here you have to enter the value in the initial and the maximum size now according to the microsoft the initial size should be 1.5 time of the physical memory and the maximum size should be three time of your physical memory so in order to find your ram you can click on your windows search type system from the suggestion click on system information and here you will find your physical memory so on my end i have six gigabyte of ram so i will bring up the calculator so i can explain you better so in the initial size i have to enter the 1.5 time of my physical memory so one gigabyte contains 1024 mb i have six gigabyte so i will multiply by six and then i will multiply by 1.5 so this is the value that I will enter in the initial size 9216. Then in the maximum size, I will clear everything. So 1024, that is the MB in one gigabyte. Then I will multiply by six, that is my physical memory. And then I have to enter the value in the maximum size by multiplying this by three times. So I will multiply by three. And this will be 18432. okay and then you have to click on set click on okay click on okay okay and okay and now you're all done simply go ahead and restart the computer and i'm very sure that this time you will find the huge difference and you will find that your windows 10 is working much faster without any kind of lagging issues so that's all guys for today hopefully you will find this video helpful and if yes do not forget to like and subscribe and i see you in the next video Bye bye